And welcome to part 7 of Mega Man X3. So we're still going through Gravity Beetle stage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Up here is a mech armor part. It is the F part. I think it's the Falcon armor, if I'm not mistaken. It allows, it gives you a mech that can actually glide for a little bit in midair. And it's pretty damn useful. But uh, just finding the Falcon armor doesn't mean we get to use it all the, all the time whenever we want automatically, unfortunately. We still have to find the first armor before we can use any of the armors. It's a stupid system and one they really screwed up on. I think it should have been so much better if they just... If you found an armor, you got it. Boom. No questions asked. But in this game, you have to go to Blast Hornet stage and get the armor in that level. And then you can unlock the rest of the armors. It's like Zero with the boss fights. They made a lot of stupid decisions in Mega Man X3 that ma that ultimately made me dislike the game. If Zero could fight bosses, I wouldn't have a problem. If you could collect certain armor parts and use them without needing the one armor, I'd have no problem. But no, they made all these odd decisions in X3, and I don't care for it at all. And that's just my opinion, I'm sorry. Up that path is another mech armor, but, uh or the mech armor uh, platform, rather. But uh, since we don't have a mech armor to use, we can't really... There's no point going up there. You'd need the mech armor for this area to find the hidden Dr. Light chips, which is something I never discussed yet, but I guess I'll get into it now. There are four pink Dr. Light capsules hidden throughout the levels, and they're the question marks when you scan the uh, level select. Those chips... I don't want to get any of them. I don't want any of them. They upgrade either your helmet, your arm, your legs, or your body armor. But uh, trust me, we don't want those, and so I'm not even going to show you where they are. There's no point, really. Nevertheless, this is Gravity Beetle. Gravity Beetle is weak against the Ray Splasher, or the Splashing Ray, or whatever it's called. And you get that from uh, Neon Tiger, I believe. He takes a hop after you hit him, and that's all he does, really. When he gets close, hop to the other side, and that's about it. Shouldn't have too much problem. Uh, usually, though, if you don't have his weakness, he loves to bounce these gravity balls that bounce all across the room, and it uh, can get pretty hectic. But he is a maverick I took on first and managed to defeat, much to my surprise. So, uh, he's not too bad. At least if you're good at dodging things, he's not that bad, but uh, if you're not... This game is hard. <laughs> That's all that needs to be said. This game is fucking hard. Anyway, by defeating Gravity Beetle, we get this little gravity wave bubble thing. And anything on screen gets pretty much sucked in and destroyed, I believe. And uh, it's pretty damn useful. It's a gravity well. That's what it is. If you supercharge it, you can lift enemies off the, s the ground and uh, off the screen. Anywho, folks, now we're back at Volt Catfish's stage. We only have one more Maverick to go, and if we kill him, we can't take on the mysterious Maverick, so we might as well get it over with. This capsule and the one in Crush Crawfish's stage will take you to the mysterious Maverick. So let's do it. Let's take out this evil Maverick, who is surely going to be a most painful, difficult battle. Lots of energy to fill your sub-tanks here, <laughs> but also falling, falling boulders, so uh, watch where you're walking. Alright, let's see what's up. Let's see who this mysterious Maverick really is. Though guessing by the silhouette, I think you already know. Vile! <laughs> you're trapped, X! Vile? Zero and I destroyed you years ago! This factory is set to blow in a matter of minutes. Until then, I'll try and keep you busy. Yeah, Vile from Mega Man X has returned, and he's in a mech. Oh god, we could never defeat him in a mech before. We're fucked! We're fucked, I say! Actually, we're not fucked at all. This thing is weak against the Race Flasher, and, uh, like the previous game that we fought Vile, his mech rushes towards you, then it stops, then it swings. It will always stop right when it reaches you. So as soon as it stops, just jump out of the way. It'll 
uh, try and punch you and miss horribly. It is a very simple pattern and getting hit by the mech, <laughs> that's pretty hard to do. However, Vio will then pop out and he's looking at either the Race Blasher or um, Crush Crawfish's weapon, the Spinning Blade. And uh, he basically, he hops, he shoots pellets all over the place trying to hit you, and then he hops again, shooting a flamethrower that really fucking hurts, so you want to dodge it as best as you can. And that's really all he does, he, that's his simple strategy. And folks, just like Bit and Bite, Zero can be, or Vile, can be killed right here and now. We can end this and just ruin his whole life, ruin his revenge in an instant. And so I did. Don't think that this is the end, X. I will haunt you to the day you die. Well, that's a very uh, mean thing to say. Not the last words I would have chosen, but... Uh, Vile is dead. We'll never see him again. Yeah, you can kill Vile. <laughs> You'd think this comeback would be, like, so much grander, but no, it's not. That's it. Okay, I'm sort of lying, but uh, we'll discuss that later. For now, he wasn't lying about the time bomb. We have 60 seconds, or 50 seconds. Go figure. Uh, we have 50 seconds to get the hell out of here, so don't dilly-dally. Pick up the health and items if you want, but uh, we gotta move. Of course, there's a lot of walls trying to come up, and you have to shoot them real quick. Not very fun. Uh, it's not a huge stretch of time, but... Uh, it's not a, a thin stretch of time either. You'll have like 10 seconds left by the time you reach the end. At least if you're as good as I am. I would climb the walls, but the boulders are falling and they would knock me off, so the elevator is the safe way to take. The platforms will fall, not fun. And booyah, with 8 seconds to spare, we made it out alive. Uh, go ahead. Continuing through Volt Catcher's stage, you'll find this one platform that doesn't move at all. But if you use a supercharged gravity well, you can reverse gravity and pull it up so that you can reach a new Dr. Light capsule. Hooray! And this will be the final part that Mega Man X can collect, which is always good. Enter this capsule, X. Take this armor upgrade. The upgrade will decrease the damage done to your systems. Thank God. As you receive damage, a defense field will be generated to protect you. Well, thank God, Dr. Light. I've been looking for this for a while. <laughs> now the game has gotten fun. It also creates this little bubble around you every, t every now and then. It uh, helps, I suppose. But now we're at the last Maverick in the game, folks. It's been a fun ride, hasn't it? Well, it's still not over yet. We got a long ride. Oh, Jesus. Nevertheless, this is the last Hornet stage. Uh, Vile, like Bit and Bite, he might just show up later if you didn't kill him. And if he does, well, I'm going to show you what happens. But regardless, this is Blast Hornet stage, and um, it's where your mech armor starts. It's where most of the... Uh, the bad enemies come from. A lot of people would want to take this place on first, but uh, I, I'm not good at fighting the Hornet, so whatever. This is the order that I do. I, I can't help it. This is how I play Mega Man X3. I'm gonna have to do a lot of item collecting later, but uh, you know, that doesn't bother me. Well, actually, it does, but you know. This is the mini boss of Blast Hornet stage. I. Insect? Oh no, holographic origami that uh, bounce that jumps up when you shoot it. At least in the first part of the fight, he'll bounce around every time you hit it, and then the second part he'll go around the whole area, and then in the third part he'll be bouncing up and down, uh, higher and, and lower every now and then, and uh, just keep pelleting this thing to death, and you shouldn't have too much problem, too much trouble. God, I keep doing it. <laughs> Anyway, folks, I'll see you in part seven.